Hello everyone, I am Interact, this is Slay the Spire, welcome back, we're going to do some more Ascension mode. We're going to see what normal enemies are deadlier means, and we're going to do it on the Ironclad. Let us see here, transform a card, enemies in your next combat have one HP, obtain a curse, give me a random rare relic, that's a pretty not great relic. And that's a really bad curse to have, okay. Um... A merchant here, but we have a merchant here as well. This one has an elite before it, but it skips out on a campfire. I think we're gonna go this direction. No, do we want to go that direction? Mapping things out in my head. That one misses a merchant. I think we probably want the early merchant to get rid of this curse. So I have no idea what enemies are deadlier means. Does it mean... Okay. It doesn't mean that they start with more strength or anything. Which is what I thought it might have meant. You know, like, all enemies start with, like, two strength or something. Like, Philosopher's Stone effect. But... I think he actually gained more strength than he normally... Doesn't he normally only gain three strength there? Um, man, Uppercut's real good. Perfected Strike can be really good. I think I take Uppercut because it's a uncommon as opposed to a common. Perfected Strike you can pick up a lot. Remove a card from my deck. Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you, sir. So, uh, okay, so, so far it looks like everything that would gain an opponent, um, a strength gives them an additional strength. Is that literally all that it means? Like, things gain one more strength than they normally would? Because that doesn't seem very, uh, ooh, double taps a good pickup. Uh, yeah, give me a question mark. Okay. I was de debating taking the combat because it would give us more gold for the shop, but it ended up being combat anyways. So, look at that. Isn't that pretty neat? I guess I could double tap my strike to be uh, fancy about it. I hate that we're kind of wasting our Sundial Trigger. This is a rare relic. I hate that we're kind of wasting it here, but... Actually, it might not be so much of a waste, because it allowed us to kill him. So, yeah, okay. Not a waste. Alright, we'll pick up Perfected Strike now. What you got for me? Oh, no! Mr. Bill. I would have loved to have picked that up. I would have loved to have picked this up. Darn it. Reckless Charge is a pretty good uh, damage ability. Negates the next debuff, huh? I think we remove... Can we remove a defend at this point? Or do we just like pick up cleave and... we just pick up cleave and leave? Not just because it rhymes, but rhyming helps. Definitely want to upgrade Uppercut, because it's a high value upgrade right there. Two weak, two vulnerable is better than just one weak, one vulnerable. We want to take eight damage on the chin. I think we can afford to at this point. We're pretty healthy boys, we got a regen potion. That's not like the ideal double tap usage, but ooh, battle trance is a good card. The goodest of the cards. In flame is also a very good card. 
Seems weird, because like normally I would want to get rid of strikes, but with perfected strike. I don't really want to get rid of strikes. I don't really want to get rid of the defense, but like maybe I do. Maybe I just like pick up a headbutt. Or a seeing red. Hmm. I think I just leave for now. Again, I know it's really awkward, but I get bronze skills. Nifty. Um, an elite combat or an upgrade of a campfire? Is a relic and combat better than... I think I want the relic. I think it's early on enough. Oh boy. I think it's early on enough that I kind of want... Um, relics. And I think I just want a perfected strike. I don't. Uppercut is nice, but I think I'd prefer to just get the damage in with the perfected strike. Obviously, if I had, I guess I could have battle transfer double tap. This double tap, um, perfected strike would have been really good. Kill him because it prevents more damage than playing a defend. Defend only prevents five damage, killing him prevents eight. Simple math, quick, quick maths, if you will. Okay. Still with having a bash, kill him. 19. Does not. But he gets him very close. I actually could. Uh, sure. No, give me the... That kind of feels like a waste of an energy potion, but at the same time, this combat's a pain, and I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Perfected strike. Sixteen twenty-four. That's the exact amount of damage I need. Anchor. We do have some. We do have in flames. So we can pick up the heavy, heaviest of blades. Once again, wow! I really would have loved to pick up molten egg. I think we go with another in flame though. Eh, maybe I wanted to do those elite combats. I don't know. Ooh, that's good because we needed to get some upgrades because we've been missing out a little bit. Yeah, find some potion. <laughs> all right, regen potion me up, boys. Let's go. Give me all the regeneration you can find. Um, I mean, it's pretty much a no-brainer right there, right? And anchor saves me from this damage. Okay, so these things hit too harder than they normally do. I think they gain the same amount of strength, though. So basically everything's damage numbers seem to be increased by a slight amount. Which is what makes normal enemies harder, seems to mean. Second Heavy Blade? Okay. Here we want to upgrade. I think we upgrade the perf... Expected the bash maybe. Bash is kind of a good a good value upgrade for that extra vulnerable and that extra little bit of damage. Oh boy, it's Mr. Guardian. So let's just drink a drink a little potion here. I think we can easily double tap an uppercut. I even, mm, yeah, because we have the extra effective double tap, I think it's actually worth energy potioning there for the extra, what is it, 22 damage? Because this guy, he is a race. This is a race against time. And I will fully embrace taking Thorn's damage like an idiot. 
Because it is just a, as I said, a, a big old race. What could we draw into? We could draw into the other in flame, but that makes us unable to heavy blade. Taking a lot of damage here, I understand. But we're also dunking on him, is it like less less than half? And he just phase swapped. I was hoping for another heavy blade. Bonk. I mean, we're not in any risk of dying. Does Thorns uh, get rid of his mode shifty? Oh, it does. So this is going to force the mode shift, and then the block does not wear off. Oops. Loading up the draw into. Double tap. Probably. There you go. And then we double tap. Uppercut. And look at that damage right there. Ooh wee boys. We should have him dead this turn. I believe. believe I am. Yep, there we go. Alright. So this deck is a little on the... more regen potions. Um, I think Reaper's good here, because we are playing a little risky. You know what? Give me a, give me a tiny little house, dude. Another regen potion? You're too, you're too nice. Alright, Wild Strike works well with Perfected Strike. We're not really a clash, or... or yeah, is it clash? Yeah, we're not a clash deck, so... I think picking up another strike that is a high damage card is good. Who would like a shop? Probably. Probably. Question is, do we want the shop? There's no late shops, is there? Wow, all the shops are front loaded, huh? I guess I'll take this one because it's got a lot of question marks after it. Just these freaking. I don't. How many regen potions am I at that I've gotten this run? Like seven? <laughs> what is going on? Reaper's only unblocked damage. I need to remember that. Because I have tried to do it against things with block up, and I'm like, where's my healing? Doesn't work like that, you dummy. Well, this sucks. It's not even really worth blocking, because it would prevent like three damage. And it's not worth regen potioning, because like, he's dead. And then Sundial Triggers, which I... I... Is, is, is there like a hidden thing with Ascension 2 where all your potions become regen potions? Clash would be nice, but we're, as I said, we're not a Clash deck. Are we a Clash deck? Uh, we have that Wild Strike. We very well could be a Clash deck. I would love Lee's Waffle. But alas. Um, Metallicize is a good boy. For certain. Give us the little extra defensors that we might need. And then I think we remove... What? It might be Wild Strike. Can I afford to remove a defend? I mean, I don't know if I can, but I'm doing it. So, there you go. Skull burst into flames. What would I like to learn? Uh, what is it that I seek? Well, I don't really need gold right now. Because there's no shops. However, shops on the third floor could be nice. 
Um, give me one colorless card. Give me two riches, and then I want to leave. Also, out. Heal me. Definitely want to upgrade a card or obtain a relic. It's a tough one, because normality doesn't actually really do too much to us. Give me a relic. Ooh, Varya. Ah, we did get the normality though, which stinks. But we got Varya, which is super good. Give me a regen potion, because I have 7 billion of them. So... Let me think about this. Twenty-three damage. That's twenty-four damage. Oh. These guys hit slightly harder. I think they normally only hit for ten on this attack. So I guess it just scales up all enemies like damage slightly and their strength gain a bit. That'll trance me. Defend. It's the best way to deal. I think it's Mind Blast and then Wild Strike, and then we clash the other guy. I mean, I'm glad that the colorless card that we got is at least an attack card, which means it doesn't stop Clash. Definitely want a Reaper. I would love to heal a little bit more. And I do not know if we're going to be able to kill him. I don't know if it upgrades the amount that they block. It upgrades it by one. Okay. Um, he's still gone because we hit really hard. We just also get hit really hard. Rampage is a good card, but uh, the deck's a little big as it is. And I, th oh man, we're gonna fight the elite. This is stupid. Give me the potion. Oh, please and thank you very, very much for the healing. I appreciate it. You are too good to me, game. Too good to me. Never give up. Akita Mendeo. That's what he's trying to say. Um, Take this guy out, or we could weaken this. I think weakening this guy is going to prevent more damage than taking him out. If only very slightly. Very low on the HP here. I hate this curse. Boop that guy and bop that guy. And then he's buffing nothing but himself. And of course I got the curse after going to places where there's just no freaking shops. So we're probably just like gonna path through all these question marks and hope for the best. Um... Well, uh, I mean, so you see, the thing is, um, we're dead. So we got that going for us. Um, so we're just going to try again. Uh, 
Uh, yes, please. I think that's worth it. I could be very, very wrong. But I believe it is worth it to do that. Because max HP is, like, very important. Does mean we need to play a little bit more defensively on some of these combats, but... We... Now, if I had that same deal on the, um... The Silent, I don't think I would take it, just because you don't have Burning Blood to heal you through. Losing half of your HP on the literal zero with room. But I think on the Ironclad, it's 100% worth it. And Flame is just, like, the easiest pick. Um, the, uh, we're not going to see any merchants, the path of well. The divert over here for a merchant. I think we just leave the gold. We have a less age. Ooh, hello. We want our HP to stay relatively where it is or get better. And our gold is fine. I'm not worried about our gold at the moment. So where am I going here? Probably grabbing... I would like to grab a question mark, but I think these two bonfires are more important. And then it gives us this merchant later on. In case we end up getting a curse or something stupid. I think I defend this attack and then next turn, yeah, we'll just triple strike him and I think that should kill him. Does he hit for 12 each? Yep. Mathematics. Pay attention in school, kids. So you can learn how to do math. And I'll take I'll, I'll take the flex. I'm not excited by it necessarily. Do that to save a little bit of HP. Potions are a resource. They should be used. This is just I hate that. Hate everything about that. Everything about that makes me a sad, sad boy. Walk twice. So Ascension 2 seems like, I mean Ascension 1 was kind of whatever. Ascension 2 seems like it might be where things start to get kind of real. Or maybe I'm just playing like an idiot. I'll take a Clash. I can make a good, good old Clash deck. Upgrade Bash. Bash and Clash. That's what we'll call the deck. Bash and Clash. Okay, so here's here's where having this Merchant's nice. Definitely think I'm going to Rummage. Gambling Chip is good. I think. We'll smith again. I think we just smith the flash. I don't know if that's right or not. Oh, singing bowl. Why does it say you may gain two max HP instead? I've never had the mushrooms before. This is the last relic that I'm missing. Stomp the mushrooms. Fight the mushroom boys. Fight these shroomy boys. This is like the one thing that I've never seen in this game. 
in my like 60 plus hours of playing it, I have never gotten this question mark spot. Which is always, I've always kind of been like, how though? <laughs> how have I never seen this? So that just takes that guy out. This guy's gonna get really low due to the poison, and that guy's obviously just he's just a just a shot away. Well then. Now we get the mushroom, right? Yes, odd mushroom. And it's actually super good as well. Oh, so that's nice. Cause it was it was slightly bugged, I think. It did feel like a little bugged. I will take a heavy blade though. Uh, cause it felt like sometimes you would skip and it wouldn't give you your max HP for some reason, which I always thought was kind of weird. Um, I think we can do it like that and hope for the best. That is roughly the best. Let's just do this and see how much heavy blade. Just only 26, okay. So that would have been 26. This is defend 5 and deal 32. So we can almost take one of them out. I think we hit this one down to 5, so a basic strike kills him. And as I've said many times before with this combat, you want to focus one down at a time. Apologies for the dog. Cleaving is not really, like, cleaving is nice if you can do it, but you generally want to just knock them out as quickly as possible. Which even means taking a little bit of damage here and there. Odd mushrooms. Not as good as ginger, but still a good relic, and I'm glad that I finally found it. Because now I actually have 100% completion. Until they release another character and I have to unlock a bunch of cards again. Hmm. Sure do love dazes in my clash deck. So apparently um, with flex, if you get the new potion that gives you artifact or whatever. Wow, what a hand. Um, the strength down is considered a debuff, so you can make flex into like an actual, if you have a way to get artifact, it makes it into just an actual like, gain four strength card. War paint. It's two defense. Ooh, offering is, it's good, but I'm gonna take the two max HP. What you got for me, sir? Omomori. We don't have enough to Omomori and card removal. What are we card removaling? Like an unupgraded defend? I feel like Omomori might be better and let us play a little bit riskier. And I think we're good to take a Rampage as well. I think our deck's small enough and I love this string of fires right here. This is good. Let's uh, do some smithing. I think we want to smith up the heavy blade. Make it five times instead of three times. Make it two fifths of a better card. Juice cards to replace with gambling chip. If we're not playing this, probably not playing those. I don't really know what we would be playing. I guess the flags. 34 damage. Okay, well then, bonk. This next one's gonna, this next fire is gonna be a healer for sure. I don't wanna go into the boss fight with this little HP. I actually do kind of like the war paint there because we know, well actually, there was a chance that it would hit flex, but Basically, it just makes our defense better. Which is nice, because we have very little of it. Oh, there's the Ancient Potion. Ooh, Searing Blow. 
I think I take Searing Blow, and then I pretty much just, like, stop picking up cards, because I think this is good enough. Unless it's, like, a really, really, like, S-tier, beautiful, perfect specimen of a card. I haven't seen Hexaghost in a while. Uh, get rid of these defends and these strikes, I think. So let me just test this. Maybe they fixed it already. No, they didn't. So there you go. Oh wait, did I inflame? No, I didn't. Okay, so basically, yeah, so... The lose 2 strength is considered a debuff, so because I artifacted myself there, it's no longer a debuff, so there you go. Um, a nifty little trick in case you wanted to do that. I think bashing here is more important than playing this clash, because the vulnerable is going to lead to a lot more damage in the end. We're going to take a big old chunk of damage, but that's okay. He always opens up with that big old chunk of damage. This is a pretty decent turn here. Already pretty much got him to 50% HP. These burns suck in the Clash deck. Pretty easy Rampage Heavy Blade. I mean, like, his, he's just getting chunked. Sure we are as well, but whatever. I don't know if there's an actual artifact that gives you artifact at the beginning of each combat, but I think that would be a good one. Probably make that one a rare, if we're being honest. That seems like kind of a rare or maybe uncommon relic. Give you one artifact at the start of each combat or something like that. Um, we do want to defend here, just in case. Actually, we could have killed them if we didn't, so that was stupid. I missed lethal. Nifty. Although, there's basically zero chance that I miss lethal now, so... Whatever. I kinda need some way to... I guess I have gambling chip to make this start in my opening hand. And brag of preparation as well. I guess I'll take it. I think we just want black blood because it's the safest option. We're not playing very defensively. And I think we would really like to have that extra cushion of HP to fall back upon, if necessary. So there's my reasoning for that. Um here's a question. Do we try and dig for... Like, do we fold this card to try and dig for demon form? I think I'm going to keep this in case I don't draw demon form. Okay. It still gives me a pretty good first turn play to deal, you know, 34 damage. I guess I could have used a swift potion. I don't know. I mean, ow, but whatever. Yeah, it might have been worth digging fully for demon form. Since he wasn't attacking, I know that I could have gotten the demon form off. But I think the play that I did was fine. Weakened. I need ginger. I need ginger so badly, so I can't be weakened. No, two max HP, please. We're at 100 max HPs. Do I want to get jaxed? We are kind of a strength deck. Problem is we lose out on a lot of H or a lot of money for this defender. I think I'll get jaxed, why not? We don't have Perfected Strike. 
And we've already got like a pretty high max HP. And we have Singing Bolt to make it even better. And they are just better than Strikes. I think we actually do it. It's the first time I've done that in a while, because normally I just pass up on it. Oh, it's Mr. Mr. Swirly Man. Okay. I think we just stick with this hand. And we're just gonna demon form. Um I think with, with the singing bowl, you can actually whoa. Give me a little toothless bite. You can actually pretty reasonably um take these bites. I don't know why they're colorless now though. I don't know what that actually affects. They made them colorless in the most recent patch, and I don't know why. I'm sure that it does something that I'm just not seeing, but I can't tell what. This guy's hitting me really hard. Although, I can just- I should have bitten him first to heal. That was stupid of me. Do I want another heavy blade? I don't think I want another heavy blade. I think I want the max HP to make up for the fact that I lost a bunch to get that bite. To get the bites, I should say. This loses a lot of HP, but give us a potentially really good relic. And we can heal right afterwards. I don't think we want two elite combats. That seems a little iffy. I will continue to read. When you take this relic, you become cursed, but suck it, I have a memory. The reason I wanted to do this is because of Necronomicon. Uh, I mean, we have this that costs two, and this that costs two. Like, double Heavy Blade is... That's big boy damage right there. We are gonna rest, we need the HP. Ooh, we've got two combats coming up. This is just not fair that this exists. Neither of them are attacking. Okay, so... We actually do just want to, like, straight up... Full discard. Please give me demon form. Thank you. And I will actually use the jacks as well. So thank you, Gambling Chip, for existing, and me for having a small enough deck to actually make it function properly. Okay. So obviously, just want to defend once. It's thirty-four. I would just dunk that boy. But we can pretty much kill him anyways with Flash, and can't kill him with anything, can we? I really don't want to Heavy Blade this guy twice. It seems like a waste. But, hold on, 22, 33. Take this guy out, and heal a little bit from Bite. It was either that or Heavy Blade, I mean, I think Heavy Blade just wastes too much damage. I'd rather be Heavy Blading this guy. I think I block Potion here. Searing Blow hits twice. And then we... Def yeah, Defend is doing like nothing, so we just, we'll just bite and gain some HP back. I think the Bite event is good if you have Singing Bowl, and you're planning on making your deck really tiny anyways. Which I am, so. I guess they made them colorless because they added the ability to upgrade colorless cards recently. I mean, doesn't even need to hit twice because demon form is just that good. Headbutt could be okay to put the um, rampage back on top, but oh no. He starts with stabs, doesn't he? Discard this and hope I don't draw another defend, so I can actually clash first turn. Alright, cool. This is going to hurt... a lot. 
But I think I have to be aggressive. Stabity stab stabs. I maybe should have just bit twice. Honestly. I don't know, we, we might we might get completely demolished by this guy. We might just get eaten alive here. I should have bashed. Why did I not bash? Okay, well if I didn't bash, I need to defend more. I should have bashed. That was just so stupid of me. Because if I bashed there, I think the heavy blade could have just, like, killed him. Um, I think we pretty much need to draw a heavy blade here. Oh my Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm just barely alive. I need a heavy blade right now. Okay. Cool. Well, oh, ice cream. Give me 2 HP, please. Well, I don't think we can survive another combat, but we miss out on a fire. Uh, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Sundial, not terrible. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Um, well, yeah, let's, uh... Um, I'm trying to think of the way that we live through this. So, okay. if we jax, we die. Do we? Do we? No, because we could defend. Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me think. Let me think about this. So this heavy blade hits for enough to kill this guy completely. Or we could kill the taskmaster completely. We have to kill this guy though, because he's hitting for so much more than the rest of them. And then we're taking 15, which means bite won't save us, so we have to defend. Oh boy. This is not this is not great. This is the definition of not great. This is exceedingly not great. And I think we're dead. Let me see. We bite. We defend. Oh, yeah, we're just We're just toast roasted and toasted. I hate that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment with a challenge that you want to see me do, or if you just want me to keep doing Ascension, or if you just want to say hi, or whatever, I don't care. And feel free to subscribe for more in the future. Thank you for watching once again. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.